Now I know this looks a bit odd. Picture this being like a just busy train central. Hold on, look at this, we got a whole group of people. I mean, they're, they're really pigs, but, oh look, they're getting on the train. So let's go into here. Where do we want to drop this load off? Uh, let's go through. Oh, I should have taken a right. Oh God, no, we're gonna derail. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Trex. And yes, folks, we're back in the train set game here. You guys have been enjoying this quite a bit on the channel. So I figured let's go ahead and play a bit more here. So, really what we've been doing, our goal is to basically fill up this whole map. That way I can claim I have the biggest map out of all the YouTubers. So we're still working on that here today. I've actually got some plans. I've noticed a couple of things about my setup and about where everything's placed. And some areas are really not that easy to get to. So I'm thinking of making like a little grand central station, which it's going to basically be a plaza that you can take your train to and we'll have a series of tunnels. That way, if you want to quickly get to an area of the map, you'll be able to take like an express tunnel and shoot out directly where you want to be. Now, that does ruin a, a bit of the fun for some people if they want to just drive all over the map, which that's still an option. But I want a way to be able to hop from section to section. So say we got Komodoville over here. We've got the Snowy Mountains up here. We've got the racetrack and Greensville over here. You've got the farm area, which what do we end up calling? This is actually two separate areas. This side's called Farmsville. And this side from the last, or actually a couple episodes ago, was called Stable Station, which... Where'd my Stable Station sign go? It was just right here. Alright, I'll have to place another one of those. And we have our new area here. This was the area that we built last episode, which is a coastal town. I think this is probably my favorite area. What do you guys think? What is your favorite area in this series? I I'm gonna have to go with this. I, I like this a lot. And actually, you guys were gonna name this area, and it was a pretty tight battle, but I wound up choosing a name that wasn't exactly in first place because I didn't want to name it after me. I think the first place name was like Komodo Harbor, which we already have Komodoville. I don't want everything like Komodo Harbor, Komodoville, Komodo Town, Komodo Farm, so I chose something else. Now, this was the second highest vote. I'm pretty sure some people will notice what that's from. This is called Sandy Shores now. I get the GTA reference. Actually, it just feels like a good name, though. I like the name Sandy Shores. I mean, it's Sandy, and there's a shore. This is a shoreline, water, makes sense. But, anyways, today we need to start working on the Central Station area. So, if you guys have any suggestions for the track series here, comment below. And if you're enjoying tracks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Helps out my channel, and let's do this. Okay, where am I thinking here? I'm thinking right here is where the central station's gonna be. So, basically, my thought process is this is gonna be kind of a forest. This is all gonna be forest area. And then we'll uh, link into the station, which is by the main town. So, what we want to do here... Hmm... This is tough. I'm trying to think of where traffic's going to be coming from. Can we do another joint from here? Is that possible? I don't think it is. All right, so we'll go right here. So we'll be able to turn off into the station. So we'll go forward, 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 forward. And this is basically... Oh, uh, hold on. Let's go back. This is uh, basically going to be just a shortcut. Really? This one little piece is in my way? All right, so let's continue across here. There we go. Uh, let's see, which way? This is the practice loop. This feels like it's okay to loop out to. So there we go. Uh, this is going to be where the station's going to be located. So my thought process is we need to create a loop within this. So if we come out this way, we'll have the option, option to shoot through, but we'll also need to go like this. So it's going to take me a little bit to think of real quick. So we'll do a loop like this. There we go. And we'll give you the option to shoot back on. So that's one loop. Hmm, is this the way this is gonna work? And then we'll give you another option. I can't split this. That needs to be a track piece. They need to have a three-way split. Uh, really what I have to do is that. So we'll go ahead and do it like this. Go out a little bit. 
I guess you can almost say like this is a train yard too. And we're gonna overlap this by one. So we'll go in like that. And boom. Does that look good? Uh, that looks almost correct. Hold on, let's go back one on this. There we go. So you got a little offset here. Now what we're gonna do, uh, ideally, and I think really the only way to get into the Grand Station right now is to come down this line here, turn in, because really where it's going to spit you out, say you don't go in one of the tunnels that we're going to set up, it's just going to spit you back out on the practice loop, which you can get back to the main town from here if you wanted to. So, what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead, I want to close this area up, I want to make it look nice, like I don't want to make it just look like a bunch of tunnels. So I'm going to fence this thing in, uh, we're going to add some station pieces. Uh, the thought process is eventually we'll be able to play passenger mode. And I know passenger mode, I don't know, like I think it can work on custom maps. Uh, you will need to be able to actually deliver the passengers to the different stations. So I want a little hub that's a little quicker. Uh, we'll probably also have to have a couple of incoming tunnels. Uh, say you have the outbound tunnels that'll take you to the different areas. We're going to have to have like one or two that come in. Uh, that way you don't always have to go down this one line. All right, so the basic layout of the station is here. So you can drive in or come in by train from here, and this will lead you right through. Now you've got the option to drop off passengers here. So if you do that, you have to drive out. Like that's your only option. But say if this is gonna be like your little stop to go uh, head to another area, we'll have the tunnels here. So I've gotta figure out a way to distinguish the inbound and the outbound tunnels. That's where I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of figuring out to do here. Now, question is, we have pre-existing tunnels in certain parts of the map, but I don't know if you can link multiple tunnels to other areas. So say, let's go ahead and try to get an example here. That way we can uh, figure out what we can and can't do. So we'll swap this around. So here's one of your tunnels, okay? So we'll stop that. We'll go ahead and branch off here and say, all right, you go straight into here. There we go. And the tunnel itself, I think I need to select it uh, by just clicking on it. So say this tunnel is gonna take us to, which by the way, somebody was saying that I need to do a cave station. Uh, if you've watched the track series for a while, which I should probably do a tour at some point, I actually do have one. You can go down into here. There's the little, uh, this is the mountain town, which I always thought that was pretty cool. So anyways, we had a bypass for this. So let's hop out of here. We've got the one little area, the one tunnel right here, which that would take us over into here. So this could be the tunnel to Greensville. Can I connect to? Is that, okay, did that work or does that disconnect that one? That would be a shame if you can't connect multiple tunnels. Uh, let's go ahead and override that. So let's go there. I have a feeling that makes it to where you can't do that, which that's a little puzzling. Uh, it's going to make my job a little bit harder as far as trying to reroute these. Uh, let's test this real quick. All right, so say we're going to want to come into the station here. We're going to go right. So we'll pull in and then we're going to go left here and then we're going to go forward. So if we go out here, yeah, this is where this stops. This does no, this no longer links. So you can only have one connection per tunnel, which is kind of a shame. So that means we're going to have our... Uh, these are going to be our outbound tunnels. We'll have to make actual tunnels in each area. That way we can travel over. So what I'm going to do here, let me go ahead and start the uh, the outbound tunnels. Uh, let's go ahead and go here, here. We'll go here. That'll be one. So we can have up to four tunnels. So if we go over to this side, let's go ahead and rotate this tunnel. Uh, let's see there. And then we'll do one here. Does that one work if I do that there? I'm not sure that does. Yeah, it does actually. So let me go ahead and connect these uh, into tracks real quick and then I'll show you guys what we're going to do. All right. So we've got our tunnels connected. These are going to be the tunnels that take you to another portion of the map. Now we want to have a way to, if we enter in a tunnel out in the map, we want to have a way to get back into here. So I'm going to stack tunnels. I know this might look a little odd, but uh, trust me, I have no clue what I'm doing right now, but I think this could, or this has the potential to be really cool. I actually like the way that looks. I know the hill portion of the tunnel looks a bit odd, but I do like the stacking portion. So 
These are going to be our uh, outbound tunnels. Let me go ahead. This is going to take me a little bit to do here. Uh, we're not going to connect one into Komodoville because obviously if you run through here, uh, you're basically in Komodoville. But I want to have one that goes to the stunt track. So it's going to be one to the mountain town, two. Actually not. We're going to skip the stunt track. Let's go mountain town, uh, Greenville, farm, and then coastal area. We'll, uh, we'll have to add to this station eventually once we get to the uh, new areas, but let me go ahead and make all of our tunnels and do a bit of connecting here. Alright, so all connections are made. Now, I'm going to make a special tunnel at some point to reach the space town, but I want to see if this all works. So this tunnel out here goes to Sandy Shores. This tunnel here goes over to the Mountain Village. This tunnel here goes to Greenville, and this tunnel here will go out to the farm. So I'm gonna label these, that way we can uh, have the names and you'll know once you pull into the station here where you're going. Now, if you guys wanna go ahead and name this station, uh, comment below, but let me put out the signs real quick and then we're gonna do a little test drive. All right, so we're ready to give this a go here with the station. We're gonna go, let's go and take a left here. Uh, take a right, we're not going to Sandy Shores. Let's go to the mountain town. So we'll take a left here, boom. And there we go, we're on the mountain, we're heading up to the town. Oh, this is gonna make traveling around so easy. Let me go ahead, let's go back down, we'll test another connection. All right, we're gonna go, let's go right this time. Uh, that's gonna be the farm, we'll take a, we'll go to Greenville here, so we'll take a right right here, head into this tunnel. Boom, here we are, there is Greensville. Oh, it's Greensville. I think I might have just called it Greenville on that sign, I need to change that. There's the racetrack over there, that works so good. Man, we could probably really expand on this too. So I've got all the signs out. You can see exactly where you're going here. I just heard the tunnel noise again. Uh, I was waiting for the train to pop back out. So those are your gonna be your uh, those are your outbound tunnels. Now we probably need some inbound. How does the wait? The train's over there now. That kind of scared me. All right, so inbound tunnels. This is gonna be a little tricky. Anything inbound to this area. I would think needs to go straight over to Komodoville or would they go down to the station? I don't think I could route the tracks like that. That's the one problem that I see here. Uh, let me see. Can I go ahead? Actually, what if we were to go? Let me try something real quick. I don't know if this is going to work or not. So we'll have a, a piece here. Let's get a piece out of each of these real quick. So... Hope you guys don't uh, mind seeing me uh, build a little bit today. It's not going to be as much about riding the train opposed to just figuring the station out. So there we go. Uh, let's go and look at this. Oh, why did I place that down? Oops. All right, so we got our tunnels that come out. How would we connect this into a normal line? I guess we can spin these around. So if you're coming inbound, you're going to shoot out this way. Let's create basically a oh that circle is going to be really weird because the tunnels don't line up that's because the tracks a bit on the awkward side huh and i got an idea so we'll go here we'll turn this should pick up this set of tracks no it won't okay hon huh, let's stop there let's go ahead and let's give this the option to Ooh, can i not just turn out of this i'd like to oh this is going to be awkward very, very awkward. I would love, instead of that little p having to place the piece out of the tunnel, if you could automatically select track out of there, but you can't. So that makes this a bit awkward. Uh, give me a second and let me figure this out. Alright, so this was extremely awkward to do. I would really love for the tracks developers to get a three-way split off. So you see how I have to skew these out. One can go to the right, one can go to the left. It would be nice to be able to have these uh, be even, so you had one to the left, one to the right, and one forward, but I had to do a little skewing pattern. Now I know this looks a bit odd, picture this being like a just busy train central. So eventually, we'll be able to add tunnels, we'll stack even more, so it'll kind of look a bit like the racetrack, but we'll have tunnels that will travel to each portion of the map. So what I have to do here, I don't have to do any signage for this. Uh, but I will have to do the tunnels, or at least another set of tunnels in each area that'll spit out into here. So once you spit out into here, they all wind up on this same set of tracks here. 
They'll take a turn, come out, and boom, they're back on the main line heading to Komodoville. So I think this is actually going to make sense. I mean, the track looks a bit confusing, but once we add some trees and decorate this a little bit more, I think this is going to work. So let me go ahead and set up the inbound uh, tunnels in each area and they'll shoot out to the actually I'm getting my inbound and my outbounds to, uh, mixed up here So I'm gonna go ahead and run over and do tunnels in each area that'll spit out into here They'll actually match the bottom tunnel though. All right, so all tunnels are connected So we have a fully functional station here folks. I'm actually kind of excited about this So one thing this is gonna allow me to do I have some we'll call them rogue tunnels Tunnels that are going to be inactive now, so I can get rid of some of this. This will actually help clean up the track a bit, too. There we go. So that tunnel, I can get rid of that one. There's a couple more. So all the tunnels, how this works, you've got the farm tunnel. So if you go on the bottom half, you go to the farm. Now all the farm traffic, say if there's a, there's a tunnel on the other side, they're going to come through there. And they will spit out here in the central station. So let's test that out real quick. Okay, so here we are. We're trucking through the farm area right now. So we're going to turn off here at stable station. So we're going to take a right. So we'll do that. Now the tunnel set that will lead you back to the uh, central station. You'll go straight through here instead of going over there. And this should, hopefully, there it goes. It popped us out. So, oh no. See, this is the bad thing. This could create a loop. When you, uh, <laughs> oh no, we're in Greenville now. Uh, we need to make a Yui. Actually, I probably could pop a Yui if I were to, yeah, I can circle around. Uh, the one thing that you have to keep in mind, you've got to be quick about doing this. Let's go ahead and reset it real quick instead of making the loop. Uh, you have to be ready to turn around or turn with the, uh, once you get into the central station, which I keep calling it central station, but that's not the name, folks. Uh, so we're going to take a right right here. Now we got to be ready for this. Let's go ahead, we'll shoot over here, we'll go forward, this will send us through the tunnel. There's Rupert, there's Rupert, there's Rupert, alright, let's go through. And we'll spit out here, there we go, and we need to go to the left, and then it's going to shoot us back on the main line, and then boom, we're going out of the station. You gotta be quick about that. I could have probably given this more room, but honestly, I didn't want to take up that much, much more uh, space with the station itself. So that is the first two layers of Central Station. We can always uh, stack higher up and yeah, we'll be able to cover all the areas. Like I could probably go ahead and add another layer now, uh, say for a Space Town tunnel, a Stunt Track tunnel. Uh, but right now, I think we're going to leave the station at this. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for this station, let me know. Alright, so now that the central station is pretty well, uh, not complete, but it is functional, what we want to move on to next, and I don't know if we're going to do that, or do this this episode, I have the options to do either an industrial area, which would probably be over on this side, or we can start on a very big project. Now, a lot of people have seen my Komodoville town over here, and they're like, you know, you should really build a big city, like a, I guess, buildings everywhere type city, uh, kind of compacted in. And I'm thinking about doing that. Now, the problem with tracks is there is kind of a limited array of buildings, so it's going to look a lot like the same, but I could, I guess, make a heavy population area somewhere. I'm thinking it could be over in this empty part of the map here. So we could have a uh, maybe a line that runs out, goes through it, and we can just make it a very, very dense city. So I'm thinking about doing that. Now, one last thing I want to try to figure out if I can do. I know passengers mode is kind of a mode where you build tracks to the stations, uh, but can we pick up passengers in our pre-existing stations? Like, I just want to haul some people around in a, uh, a train. So I think we're going to start at the central station here. Let me go ahead and set up, let's put a, a starting point, we'll put it right here. Alright, so we would pick up passengers here. Now, do I have to manually put these people down? Or, uh, let's go, oh, uh, let's go with, I don't know, 19 passengers? Do I need to set them here in the station, or does that, is that how that works? I don't know if there's people there or not. We're going to attempt this. If anybody knows a little bit more about the picking up passengers aspect of the game, please let me know. I'm actually uh, kind of curious. Like, I want to actually start to use our uh, our trains here. So, 
We're gonna add, let's add a couple passenger cars. Let's go with, uh, let's go with four actually. There we go. All right, so we'll kind of cruise up to the station here. We're gonna stop our train. Let's go and whistle. Come on, people. Oh, hit the brakes. Huh, does anything happen here? I need to come to a complete stop. Let's stop there. Okay, and we're stopped. Give it a second. Anybody? Anybody home in the station? Can we not do this in free mode? That would be a shame if we couldn't. Nope. Oh, look at that! Huh, that was weird. Okay, so I moved the, uh, I changed stations. Hold on, look at this, we got a whole group of people. I mean, they're, they're really pegs, but... Oh, look, they're getting on the train! Huh, let's pull a little forward here, that way we can load up the whole train. That's so weird, so I swapped out the station, and it's working now, so... Let's go ahead and stop here. There we go, they're moving. Alright, come on! All aboard! I'm trying to think of where I want to take them. All right, they're all gonna hop on there. Oh, let's look at this. Oh, that's cool. We even still have room for more passengers. That's sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and start to go here. Ah, uh, yes, this isn't passenger mode, but this is close enough. We actually get to take people somewhere. So let's go into here. Where do we want to drop this load off? Uh, let's go through. Oh, I should have taken a right. Oh God, no, we're gonna derail. Uh, oh no, we're back on the track. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We'll just take this around. Alright, we're okay. Oh uh, no, I have to get out of this loop the other way, don't I? Oh boy. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go... Let's go through the mountain, or the cave village here. I think we call this, what, Cave Town? Yep, there it is. Everybody still bored here? Going through the cave? Oh, I bet you that would echo so bad through here. Now, we're not going to drop you guys off here. I think we're going to drop them off up at the mountain village, potentially. Uh, let's go ahead and head up here. Oh, I hope I have some speed boosters. There we go. Cool. I'm enjoying this a lot right now. <laughs> I had a big goofy smile on my face. I love trains. I love, like, little train sets like this. All right, so there's the, uh, that's the tunnel that takes you to the Grand Station, or that's the one that spits you out from there. So say if we were to go through the Grand Tunnel, it would shoot out back this way. All right, so we're gonna go up through here. And we're getting around, uh, the entrance of the Space Town's not too far from here. Now, do I have a station that I can actually get to? I think we climb up through here, and we'll circle around, and there's gonna be a station. I gotta be sure to, uh, I guess if we stop, they should get off. So let's go ahead, start hitting the brakes here. Oh, slow down a little too much. All right, hold on, guys. Let's go ahead, pull you right here. There we go. So if I stop... Eh? There they go. They're all getting off. Ah, so that's our first little fill of actually dropping passengers off. So I guess really what I need to do, I need to spawn a bunch of passengers in at some point at every station. That way we'll have something to do if we want to ride around. Uh, let's go ahead, take this tunnel here. Boom, we're out on the main tracks, and we're back at Central Station going back to Komodoville. It's that easy. That is awesome. I'm glad that actually worked out. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for this uh, station name, comment below. Any suggestions, period. I, I think we might start on the big town next episode. That could be really cool. And I got like a permanent sound of tunnel right now. I don't know what that's all about. But yeah. I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Tracks. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Tracks.